Hey guys, it is Kevin here on YouTube. It's Friday night. I'm sitting here on my jammies, my Uniqlo room wear. I've got a few pairs of these, basically fleece pajamas. Um, they call it room wear in Japan. Uh, I've talked about this in videos before just because the inside of apartments is so cold in Japan. Um, so today, it's Friday, and it's the last day of the school year where I work. Um, uh, the school year in Japan, go, Japan goes from April to March, so uh, where I work, um, we do adhere to the Japanese school year, um, even though our school is a bit different, so we finish up today. Uh, I do have to go in on Monday just because I've, I've got to sort out some different things because I'm changing classes, I'm not teaching the same class next year, so... Um, I've got to, you know, move things around and finish cleaning some things, this and that. Um, yeah, so uh, so I was, I was at work pretty late. I was there till about 6.30 tonight cleaning. Uh, and you're like, hey, you're a teacher. Why don't the janitors clean? This is what I want to talk about. In Japan, things are a bit different. In public schools, if it's an elementary school, uh, they might have one or two kind of custodians. Junior high school, high school, they'll have a few custodians. Um... But they don't do cleaning. They don't mop the floors. They don't do that kind of thing. Uh, in Japanese schools, cleaning is done by students. Now, they don't do a good job at it at all because they're kids, right? And kids suck at cleaning. Um, <laughs> but where, where, I, where I was working this year, the kids don't clean. The teachers clean because the students are too young. Um, so, uh, yeah, so don't be surprised if, if you work in some work situations in Japan, you're in your ass to clean. Uh, not not just like what I'm doing, like, the, so we had to clean, so we are finished, we had to like clean up the air conditioners, clean up the filters of the air conditioners, the air filters, we had to clean windows, we had to, uh, you know, vacuum mop floors, clean chairs, clean, like, you know, you really get into it, it's pretty hardcore, but that's the way it is, that's what you gotta do, it's just part of the deal. Um, I can remember years ago, meeting a German engineer who worked at a big company here, worked at a big company here in Japan. Actually, it was a German company, but it was like a, an office here. And uh, you know, this is a guy who made, you know, probably five times my my salary, or more. Made a lot of money. And he said that in Germany, he was in charge of a very big team and had, it was a very important role. Um, and had many people under him and subordinates. But here in Japan, although he still had a very high role. He was expected to uh, take the garbage out, change the bags into the garbage bags, to clean different things, because that's just part of the team in Japan, and that's how it works in Japan. Um, I've met a few other people who've worked in different industries, uh, Japanese companies. Again, people who make a lot of money and uh, would be, you know, kind of considered important jobs. And they said they had to do cleaning tasks too. It's just part of being the team, part of the team. Um, you share responsibilities, you, you work, you do your job, you do your task, but you clean as well. So, uh, suggestion, since this is a, a big part of Japanese culture and Japanese people uh, expect to do this and they're used to it, if you do come to Japan to work, uh, you're a teacher, you're whatever it may be, working with a software company, an engineer, if you are asked to do some cleaning or kind of what you might consider menial tasks uh, as part of your job, don't complain don't complain because that's the way it is the Japanese people do it you should do hi right, guys Kevin here that's it just making a quick video uh, for the Jalen Kev channel uh, check all the links below remember of course you can vote for my podcast it's just Japan podcast we're nominated for um, best travel podcast at 2015 uh, well that's the 2015 podcast awards uh, nominated for the best travel podcast so you can vote once a day up until march 24th links below down below go there travel section it says just japan and uh, it's on the bottom right hand corner you can vote up to once a day until march 24th so please do that guys if you're fans of my videos if you're fans of my podcast if you like it um support go click the link below and uh all that stuff and uh yeah go check out all the links below to the podcast a lot of great ways to to listen to the show Later.